Hi guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to show you the fruit solar system. Yeah, this is my fruit solar system. So let me give you a, a tour of the solar system. So right here, we have the one and only sun. So this is the star in our solar system. This is the sun. So, this is Mercury, which is the smallest planet in our solar system. So, it's also a grape. So, this is the kiwi fruit, which is actually Venus. And Earth is also a kiwi f fruit because Venus and Earth are the same size. So, this is a plum, which is also Mars. And it's red. Oh, I forgot this little guy. So this little guy is actually the Earth's moon, which is also a blueberry. And this, oh no, I already showed you. So this is the asteroid belt. I will tell you more about it later. This is Jupiter, the biggest planet in the solar system. This is Saturn, which is an orange. We put some paper around to make it to make the rings oh. <laughs> so and this is Uranus and this is Neptune now I'm going to tell you about all of the planets first the Sun the Sun is a star and it is very very hot you should never go close to it, otherwise you will melt. That's how hot it is. The sun is so hot, it can melt everything. Literally everything. The sun is about 93 million miles away from our Earth. The sun is a star. It is the closest star to Earth. The sun is very hot. That is true. It is, it's warmth and light keep plants and animals on Earth alive, including you. If you could drive to the sun in a car, then, then it'll take more than 170 years. That's too much. By the time, by the time we reach 100, we will, be, uh, we will be in our old age and we might have even passed away. Now I will tell you about the first planet in our solar system. Now I will take you to Mercury. It is the smallest planet in the solar system. Let me tell you all about it. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun. Mercury is one of, is one of the hottest planets. It's the second hottest planet. The first is Venus, but we'll get to that later. It orbits the sun faster than any other planet. One, one year on Earth, the time it takes to orbit the Sun is 365 days. One year on Mercury is only 88 days? That's pretty strange. Anyway, during the day on Mercury, it gets very hot. <sighs> and, at, and at night, it gets very cold. Brr. Let's go back to space. Let's go to our second planet. Right here, we have Venus. Venus is, this is a kiwi fruit, by the way. Venus is the hottest planet, way hotter than Mercury. Oh God, I think I'm sweating everything in my body. Anyway, so Venus has very thick clouds and that's what makes it so hot because all the heat absorbs in the, abs all the thick clouds absorb all the heat Kind of, kind of like a blanket. Let me show you a picture of Venus. So, uh, compared to Earth, look, you can see the moon at night, but then it just looks like a very bright star, right? That is Venus. Uh, you know how far it take? You know how far away it is? It takes about four months for a spaceship to get there. Oh, also, they are both the same size, Earth and Venus. And Venus is the planet closest to the Earth. 
Oh no, it's getting too hot. My skin's burning. We need to go back to Earth. Huh. Ah, that's better. So as you can see, this is Earth, which is also a kiwi fruit, the same size as Venus. It is our home planet where all the humans, animals, and where all of the li where all life is. It is a very great planet. Most of Earth is covered by oceans, and it is also our home planet f for humans, animals, and for all the life on Earth. It has food, water, animals, and us. I'm on Earth right now. What about you? I think you're on Earth too. Earth is the third planet in orbit around the sun. Oh, and, it's all, and Earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. The first is Jupiter. Earth spins up at a thousand miles an hour. Now we are going to go to our neighbor, uh, neighbor planet. Hello Mars, can I come in? Yes, sure. I really love your videos, by the way. Of course I would let a YouTuber in my house. Okay, cool. Let me tell you about, all about Mars. So this plum right here is Mars. As you can see, Mars is very red as shown in the picture. So we got a red plum. Anyway, let me tell you let me tell you information about it. Mars is more like Earth than any other planet in the solar system. Scientists think there may have been flowing rivers on Mars long ago. They are curious about where the river water is now. It may be frozen beneath the surface. That was what I was about to say. Mars looks reddish because there is a lot of iron in the rocks. On its surface, iron is a metal that rusts, turning red. <sighs> Imagine how much iron is there. That See, you see all of this redness? That's all rust. Everything. The, the huge volcanoes on Mars may be the biggest in the solar system. Bigger, bigger than Earth, bigger than Venus. Now we are done with Earth's other neighbors, which are also the four rocky planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, and also including the moon, but that's not a planet. But now, before we go to the gas planets, we gotta go through the asteroid belt. Let's go. Okay, we are now here at the asteroid belt. Whoa, that was close. Anyway, so the asteroid belt is where a bunch of meteors are. Oh, frick. That was really close. Anyway, so all the asteroid belt, in the asteroid belt, there's so many asteroids crashing towards each other. I think I saw one crash right now. Oh, it's too much. Anyway, a ring of rocks orbits the sun between Mars and Jupiter. The rocks are asteroids. Thousands of them race around the sun in a ring called the asteroid belt. This is an asteroid that crashed down on Earth called N Eros. Anyway, the asteroid belt separates the rocky planets and the gas planets in space, like shown. Asteroids are kind of like leftovers. They are the leftover they are the leftover bits of and pieces of rock and metal in space that did not become planets or moons. The asteroid belt separates the rocky planets and the gas planets in space. I think I already said that. Oh, there's too much. Let's get out of here before I get hit by one. Ow! Whoa, that was close. My head hurts after that one hit me. Anyway, now let's go to the gas planet. Let's go. Anyway, so here is this Jupiter. It is a gas planet which <coughs> <coughs> I, I can't I'm not used to gas planets. Anyway, let's talk let me tell you about it. Anyway, this is a cantaloupe, I think. So a cantaloupe is a Jupiter. Now let me tell you everything about it. Oh yeah, it's also the biggest planet in the solar system. Let me tell you more about it. 
Jupiter is our solar system's biggest planet. It is so big that all the other planets in the solar system could fit inside it. It takes almost 12 Earth years for Jupiter to completely orbit the sun. The huge storm on Jupiter is called the Great Red Spot. Right here. Wow, that is really red. It's almost like Mercury. The storm is like a hurricane on Earth, but Jupiter's storm has been blowing for hundreds of years, so it doesn't end after a day or like a week. That's too much. Anyway, let's move on to Saturn. Anyway, so this is Saturn. Now let's move to Saturn. Come on, follow me. We are now here at Saturn, which is also an orange. That's a pretty big orange. With also some paper that I cut, or I needed help, so I asked my dad to cut it. So this is the rings, and look how beautiful those rings are. Anyway, let's move on to Saturn. Saturn has thousands of rings. That's very true. Look at that beautiful ring. That is so beautiful. But I don't understand why it's tilted to the side. Eh, it's so beautiful. Look at the sparkly rings around Saturn's. Saturn's rings are the biggest and brightest in our solar system. That's, I'm speechless after that. The rings are made of, up of billions of bits of icy rocks. Some bits are as tiny as specks of dust, like this. The others are the size of huge mountains, like that one. Like that mountain. Way above there. Anyway, you know how, how far it is? It takes four years for a spaceship to get there. That's too much. Sunlight reflects off the ice in Saturn's rings and makes them sparkle. So if we didn't have a sun, it would just be a bunch of asteroids moving around the Saturn. Anyway, now let's move on to, to one of the two final planets, Uranus. Let's go! We are now here at Uranus. It is also an apple. Uranus and Neptune are similar to Venus and Earth because they are both the same size. So, so this is a gas planet called Uranus and uh, it is also, uh, this is a gas planet. Uranus and Neptune are, are like similar and yeah. Let's view Uranus now. So this is Uranus is tipped on Uranus is tipped onto its side. Scientists think that a long time ago some huge space object the size of a planet may have crashed into Uranus. That ca that crashed caused Uranus to tip over. Oh, I can't stop tipping over. Oh, oh. go back to normal. Anyway, so compared to Saturn, they're similar. Saturn is straight. Pretend this is straight. So, and Uranus is tipped onto its side. This is a real space picture. Anyway, so it takes more than eight years for a spaceship to get there. <sighs> I'm gonna faint. Ooh. Okay, I'm good. Anyway. It takes 84 Earth years for Uranus to orbit the sun. Imagine, imagine being an, an astronomer at Uranus. Whew, that's exhausting. Uranus spins in the opposite direction that Earth does. Anyway, it's the seventh planet. So there's this moon called Mirinda, kind of like the drink, Mirinda. It's tasty. I mean, tastes good. Miranda has a very strange looking surface. It has canyons, 
It has canyons uh, 12 times deeper than Earth's Grand Canyon. Oh my god, that is super, super deep. Anyway, let's, let's go to Neptune, the final planet. So, Neptune is farther from the sun than any of the other big planets. The weather on this planet is wild. <coughs> Winds blow more than a thousand miles an hour. That's a lot. It takes Neptune 165 years to travel all, all the way around the sun. I'm fainting. Now let's move on to a, no, not a planet. Let, now let's move on to one dwarf planet, which is, which is Pluto. If Pluto was a planet, it would be very, very small. Anyway, let's, let me tell you about Pluto, only a little bit. Far beyond the asteroid belt and Ceres and past Neptune is another belt of object. It is called the Kuiper belt. We are not doing that. This is where you can find the dwarf planet, Pluto. It is the dwarf planet, not a planet. It used to be a planet but uh, now, pe now they saw how small it is, right? It is so small, it is too small to be a planet. So, simple. Anyway, P Pluto used to be called a planet. When your parents were in school, they probably learned about nine, that's right, nine big planets, about uh, planets, including Pluto. But recently, scientists decided it is too small. Now they say it's a dwarf planet, and there are now only eight big planets in our solar system. Now let's go back to Earth. There you go. Let me summarize it for you. So this is the sun, which is not a planet. These are four rocky planets, not, not including the moon. And at the other side of the asteroid belt, there are four gas planets. Anyway, I really thought it would be fun to make this video, and it was a lot of fun. Anyway, please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you nef never miss a single video anyway bye guys